Okay, so this video is about ex expanding double brackets with certs. So before we begin, I would like to remind you of how we expanding brackets in algebra. So when you have two brackets, so you multiply the value in the first bracket with the first value in the second bracket. And again, with the first value in the first bracket, you multiply the second value in the second bracket. So it's like A times C will be AC plus A times D will be AD. Uh, your sign while multiplying, you know, you have to take care. Plus multiply plus gives you plus. Plus multiply minus gives you a minus. So B multiply C then will give you a BC. And B times D will give you BD. And if you can simplify something in the middle, you can simplify. Right now here, we can't simplify because they are different terms. They are unlike terms. If you get like terms in the middle, you can simplify them. So similar way, we will do these questions. Let's start root 2 times root 2 first. So it will be something like this. Oh, such a big root. Uh, because they both are positive, so it will be a positive 1. Then root 2 times 3. So it will be, because it's a positive 1 and this is a negative 1, so it will be negative 3 root 2. Then second one, positive 5 times root 2. Positive, positive will give you positive 5 root 2. Then 5 times 3, positive, negative, will give you negative 15. Okay, when there is a group of 2 inside the root sign, this 2 will come out, so it will be just 2 outside the root. There is no more root there. Now negative 3, 2 with positive 5, 2, when you will bring them together, it will end up being positive 2 root 2 and negative 15 in the end. And here we have a positive 2 with a negative 15, so we will simplify them. They will end up being negative 13 and positive 2 root 2 will stay the same way. You can't bring them together because they are unlike terms. So that's the final answer. Let's do the last one. Not last, sorry, second question. So root 2 times root 2, same thing. The root 2 times 2. Or you can also write it directly 2 because you know 1, 2 is going to come out. So let's write it 2. So it's 2. Then root 2 times 4. So it will be positive 4 root 2. Why it's a positive 1? Because this is a positive root 2, this is a positive 4. Positive multiply positive, give you a positive answer. Negative 1 times 2, it will be negative 1 root 2. And negative 1 times 4 will give you negative 4. Okay, these two are like terms. We can bring them together. Plus 4 root 2 minus 1 root 2 will give you plus 3 root 2. Then we have a positive 2 and a negative 4. Now we will simplify these two. Positive 2 and a negative 4 together will give you negative 2 and positive 3 root 2. That's the answer. Or you can also write it this way. You can also write it in like 3 root 2 and minus 2. So both ways are right. Uh, now you remember sm special brackets where it's a plus b whole square. There's a formula to solve it. Square of the first value, a square, square of the second value, and uh, multiplication of first and second value with 2, which is known as 2ab. Or you can solve it like normally. You can just write them as a double bracket. So it's up to you with what, whatever way suits you. If I will solve it with, with the formula, it will be something like 3 square is 9 plus 2 times a and b. Any 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times root 2 will be 6 root 2 and the square of root 2 because it's root 2 times root 2 so it will be just 2 because root 2 times root 2 is like this and a group of 2 comes out so it's just a 2 so 9 positive and 2 positive will give me 11 plus 6 root 2 that's the answer that's the answer if I solve it the basic way I'll solve it like okay let me do it for you 3 root 2 whole square can be written as 3 plus root 2 and 3 plus root 2. Okay, now the same thing. 3 times 3 will give you 9 and 3 times root 2 will give you 3 root 2. Then root 2 times 3 will give you plus 3 root 2 and root 2 times 2 root 2 will give you 2.
So 3 root 2 plus 3 root 2 will give you 6 root 2, uh, positive 6 root 2, 9, and positive 2, 9 and positive 2 will come together, so it will be 11, so 11 plus 6 root 2. You'll get same answer both ways. Anyways, the last question, I'll, I'll, I would like to remind you, two brackets with the same values but different sign. You remember a plus b and a minus b, it can be easily solved with the formula square of a minus the square of b. So it can be easily solved this way, square of a, for us a is 2, so square of 2 will be 4 minus square of root 3. Root 3 square means root 3 times root 3. It means like this, and a group of 3 will come out, so it's just 3. So 3, so which will give us 4 minus 3, 4 minus 3 is 1. If you want to do it the usual way, we can do it that way as well. It will give you the same answer. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times root 3 is which, because 1 is positive, another one is negative, so it is going to be negative 2 root 3. Root 3 times 2 will be positive 2 root 3, and root 3 times root 3 is negative 3. Positive 2 root 3 and negative 2 root 3 cancel each other. But plus 2 minus 2 is 0, and they're like terms. You can combine them together. What is left with us is 4 negative 3, which will give us 1 in the end. I told you we'll get the same answer. I hope this was of help. In case if you want to ask any other thing, you can write in the comments. Have a nice day.